Okay, this will be <clears throat> part two of installation of Wolf Gordon wallpaper. So, I did the first cut of the, of the paper. Now, for those of you who have never installed, there's a big difference, of, at least for the, for the professional, there's a big difference between installing um, typical vinyl wallpaper, um, luxury vinyl, for example, as opposed to installing luxury uh, high-end wallpaper, such as Wolf Gordon. And the difference is the, uh, the stubbornness of the paper and its delicacy. <clears throat> the paper is very delicate, so if you make a mistake, it's a very costly one. But look at my beautiful seam. It's just to the right of this laser level. Can you see it? Isn't that beautiful? A lot of practice. Okay, let me show you the seam. Now I'm still gonna work it, okay? Um, that is not the seam, this, this impression. You see that little line? That's your seam, okay? Isn't that gorgeous? Now that's not even, that's not even compressed yet. That's just after the cut and I put the paper together. So now I have to work this paper. That was not easy to do. All right, it's 11 feet in the air. You gotta start all the way up on the top. If you're alone, you gotta get the ladder out of your way as you come down, the blade cannot come off the paper. So from all the way up there, all the way down, a steady line, I, I use my line, you see this, this red laser? I keep the edge of my, this is what I use. I put this on the edge of my line and I cut against here. If you miss, you're gonna seriously injure your hand. It's gonna slide right off and slice your hand open because you're applying so much pressure. The, if you don't apply a lot of pressure, the blade will not penetrate the second layer of wallpaper and then you have a disaster on your hands. If you, if you cut, has this ever happened to any one of you? If, if so, leave a comment. You cut through the top layer beautifully and then you only score the second layer underneath it. It's called a double cut. When you overlap, you, you create a seam. You're creating the seam. You're the professional. You're going to make it perfectly straight. And so, um, so you cut through it. You must apply so much pressure that if you slide on the blade, it's going to come across your hand and down your arm. So uh, actually, I should be a little bit more careful and use something thicker than this. You see that? That's too thin. I just haven't found anything yet to do it. I saw a veteran paper hanger recently use a magnesium float. I just, I liked it, but... Um, it's not for me. I need something smaller. He had a four foot float there. And uh, it's just not for me. Other paper hangers use a 48 inch thing too. I gotta get something different. But anyway, that's what I do. So I move it all down. The blade never comes off of the cut. If you take the blade off of the cut and try to, to uh, install it again right at the point at which you removed it, you're never going to find it. You're going to have an interruption in your cut and you will have a visible, um, anomaly in the, in the cut, in the penetration. It has to be clean, crisp, straight. So that's how I do it. Yeah, I couldn't uh, videotape it, and, um, but you got the idea, all right? So now I'm gonna heat it up, and I'm just going to manipulate it, just compressing it with my smoother. I might even use my roller on it to press it down. All right, here's my roller in which I, I might just press it, depending on its need. But since the paper is so delicate, the track marks themselves will be difficult to get out. So this is one uh, application in which I might skip the roller because I might just put enough pressure on my smoother to get the seam. It's already almost perfect anyway. I'm just going to heat it up and just tweak it. All right, so anyway, this is step two on installation of Wolf Gordon wallpaper. Okay, see you on the next frame.